Hey guys, this is Azra here, back on Gentega.net, playing with more of Kate and our painstakingly professional deck, this kind of clot, net shield, artist colony, notoriety, a bit of a mix of a deck that's trying to cover all bases and be able to kind of fight the fast advanced decks and also the glut of industrial genomics we've been seeing recently. Um, I'm up against Bang Boom here and he's actually playing The World Is Yours and I can't remember the last time I played against this deck actually, some time ago. And I've got a real iffy starting hand with some economy this astrolabe could be great net shield's probably useless so i think this is a mulligan and we do mulligan into a reasonably better starting hand so this is okay so we're relying on professional contacts uh, as well the kind of engine of this deck so not seeing that early is kind of tough subliminal messaging into green level okay so this deck's reminding me of what i saw maybe a year ago um is it the flash deck very fast paced Lots of little ice NBM. Very interesting, actually. Not sure quite what to expect. The Astrolabe's good. Um, yeah, so this is okay. I'm all right with this starting hand now. Definitely wanting to see the professional contact sooner rather than later. If I can take advantage of the self-modifying code to take really get maximum value from the dirty laundries, I'd be happy. But if we have to just use them on the bin, that's okay. So two cards in hand, be pretty aggressive here. Um, I need to just remind him not to forget his subliminals. Did he get it? Uh, I don't think I ran there. I'm just reminding him going forward that he doesn't forget his subliminals. Uh, oh, well, oh. Aha. Uh, so he took it back to hand, which is fair enough. I'll, uh, I'll let him have that. Um, which is cool because I don't want him. I don't want him to forget it. Um, it would kind of be a bit sucky uh, if he just kind of went the whole game not taking advantage of that. Uh, I think we'll go ahead and run. No problem. Uh, no real reason not to here, other than the fact that we could potentially get sea sourced. Um, architects a real threat. Twelve influence though. Forty maximum had twelve influence, and we know the influence is going to be going into these. Green levels, potentially blue levels. Uh, so I'm not too sure if Mimic's really that good here. Data Ravens I'm probably expecting. So Mimic would be a bit useless for those. Yeah, this is a bit of a tricky spot here. Um, I'm just going to go run again. I probably could have potentially left this for next turn, but I just want to get some money going. We don't have... Clot access right now. Self modifying code would be so good for that if we did. And he is advancing. And he is scoring an Astro. Okay. So now we've got to go and start putting some pressure on here. There's the self mod, which is great. And there's a Proco, which has, it might end up being too slow here, but we need to install it. He should take a subliminal back because we didn't run. But at least now we can clot if we really want to. So he's keeping his economy really quite high. We're going to look to force him to res ice next turn for sure. We've still got two daily casts, three sure gambles to see. Just make sure he doesn't try and. No, he's not trying to fast advance this out, which is fine. Could be a red herrings, maybe? Okay. You be careful not to draw my breakers here. Let's see what we see. Okay, <laughs> we hit the wraparound whenever we've got the NT in hand, so that's fair enough. Uh, I think we'll just go ahead and have a look at server one. Mm, okay, just install the NT. Mimic's good if we get the net ready eyes going. So, ah, I'm in a tricky spot here. His deck's moving pretty fast, and I am worried this could be another agenda. Forcing him to res, it's not going to do a huge amount. Yeah, that's probably it. We know we're going to need the empty. We just hope that he hasn't got another Astro sitting on top of what could be maybe a red herrings or something here.
run one empty uh, and one lady. The empty really just helps with things like uh, Nick Silver. Oh my goodness, what's he advancing now? Is this another Astro? Oh wow, uh, interesting. Okay, so we absolutely have to go steal that. We also really do want to check this. Um, it's probably nothing. It could just be another San San City Grid, but I think we do need to check it. Or we could index, but with this being possibly a Jackson, let's have a look at it first. Pad, I think we'll... He's going to be down a credit. I think for the sake of a click, I'm just going to trash that now. And take a card and then we'll run and see what we can do with this Sansa. So we need to get an R&D lock right now. This is kind of horrible. We're going to have to install a Gordian if we want to deal with this. Or we could install a Parasite. Parasite we could do for four credits, which would leave us enough to actually trash the Santan City Grid, whereas Gordian Blade wouldn't leave us enough, but then would be permanent. So I feel like we've got to get this. We know this has probably not an agenda, but he is running a very small deck. If we do get the Parasite, uh, we lose the ability to clot. Yeah, this is a tricky spot here. Mm -hmm. I gotta kill this sand sand though. Um, Yeah, so knowing the fact that if I kill this San San by using the self mod, then we're really struggling to be able to get clot out quickly. We'd have to then clone chip the self mod to then go get the clot. And he's still got this astro counter just sitting there anyway. So this is really rough. I'm actually going to jack out and go and check the top of R&D here. Let's see if we can scope one off the top. Oh, okay. So, wasn't quite expecting that. So, license acquisition, I don't think I've seen before. So, that would be incredibly useful for recurring your pad campaigns, recurring your Samsung City Grids. Um, let me think. I think the artist colony might come into play here. Bit of the same old thing. Indexes, I think, could be good. Film Critic, are we expecting Exploder Paloozas, maybe? Could be handy. Yeah, let's drop the net ready. Okay, so this is definitely not the best position to be in here. And um, we still got access to Clot. There's Blue Level, so we know pretty much all its influence is being spent on transaction economy for the most part. Wow, so blue level, green level, so he's back in the dough, back in the cards. And potentially indexing is the way forward here. Yeah, I don't see any reason why not. If we can scope an agenda or two off the top here, I'd be very happy. Okay, what do we see? Okay, so we do see some agendas, so that's fine. We see Hunter... Which is a pain. Matrix Analyzer. Oh my word. When the running card is Matrix Analyzer, you may pay one credit to place an advancement token on a card that can be advanced. If successful, we'll give a tag. All right. So I think the Hunters we actually don't really want to see at all. So let's give it to them. Then the Matrix Analyzer. And then we'll go back and score these two agendas, I think. Really sad they're not agendas we really want, and we'd far prefer to see an Astro. Um, but good with this for now, because what we can do is pop up the Artist Colony and have instant uh, clot without having to pay the extra credits for self-modifying code. So 
So happy enough with that. Could have been better, but I think that's actually worked out not too bad for us. So did he draw another agenda from his hand whenever he was drawing up lots last turn? Potentially, but we can just get the clot out if I think he's going to go for the score. Double ice, okay. Curious why he's protecting the bin. That's probably nothing we want, but I think we will go check it. I just, there's just no reason not to. Ooh, Daily Business Show. Um, pretty strong card, but actually I think with the next indexing in hand, I'm kind of all right with leaving that there. Um, so we'll look to index next turn, hopefully, and see if we can land another agenda. Now you can potentially install Atlas Counter, or sorry, um, forgive me, sorry, Astro Counter, and score a 2-1 straight off the bat, which is kind of threatening considering that breaking news could be used to end our day. Okay, so he's overdrawing. Yeah, so I think we're going to look to put more pressure on R&D again here, knowing that there is no Jackson on the board. And we know this is going to be a matrix analyzer or a hunter. Which means Quantum Kitty is definitely a threat. The yeah, Atman's not appealing at all for that. Just thinking about this hunter. So if we get tagged, the index is obviously not a, not going to make that an issue because we, we're not going to score anything, but we definitely would like you know to get the opportunity to score a kitty. I think of any nicer way other than just at man to get in, but I think we're going to just charge on in. So this will probably be Hunter. Oh, it's actually Matrix Analyzer. Okay. Um, so he's going to get to advance something that can be advanced, which um, I'm not sure if he's going to do or not. Um, oh, sorry about that. We've obviously got our Mimic in hand, so we're not going to... Um, so we could get through this for one credit if he doesn't boost it. Um, so we'll see if he does. I don't think there's any real reason for him to here. Yeah, so it's just a credit to get through this, which is great for us. And one for Indy. Come on, Astro. Oh, mama. Oh, wow. This is perfect. Absolutely perfect. We could not have asked for a better indexing. In fact, I don't know if we can lose this at this point. Just making sure. I mean, even if he tags us, it's not going to do anything to us. So yeah, it keeps it at two. And we just break one, which will give us the Astro off the top. And then we run back again for the Beal and the win. So yeah, this deck did really well with coping with the early pressure there. The threat of Clot is just so strong. Um, it's just game-endingly good. Um, when you can just have it, uh, even via two different methods there. Um, so it really um, had the threat of being very slow, but we were just able to get that Proco out in time to get the money going. We saw two indexings, which really just saw us right through that game. <laughs> he does say, he, Bang Boom did say he was just kind of messing about, trialing this deck for a little bit. And those indexings for me were really there to protect against the traps and the heavy net damage decks we're sort of seeing about at the moment. But right there, they did their, their absolute work. So, yeah, thanks so much for watching, guys. Really appreciate you uh, staying along and hope to see you again for the next game.